Now the star of a new hit TV show, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Moses Ingram is becoming a mainstay in Hollywood, but it hasn't been easy. And most recently, Ingram opened up about receiving racist comments online for her role on the show. Ingram graduated right here at the Baltimore School for the Arts. And our Ray Strickland spoke to the school's principal tonight about her reaction to Ingram speaking out and if it can help lead to change. Ray. A diversity hire, a loser. Those were among the comments Moses Ingram received from Star Wars fans because of her role in Obi-Wan Kenobi. But instead of just sitting there and taking it, Ingram decided to push back. And the principal at the Baltimore School for the Arts says she's happy Ingram stood up for herself, something she says was also a learning moment for her current students. Whatever the year was, was the great... Before actress Moses Ingram landed this role as Reva on the new TV show Obi-Wan Kenobi, Nobi. She was a student here at the Baltimore School for the Arts. Ingram graduated in 2012, and the school's principal, Rosalind Coffin, says her success is no surprise. Because she just has a special talent, a special ability with acting to just reach people. Protecting them. But she says she couldn't be more proud of Ingram after she called out fans of Star Wars who sent her racist and hateful messages online. But I love the fact she was like, I'm going to speak up for myself. This is wrong. I'm not going to stand for it. Ingram's response generated a lot of conversation online with Star Wars and even her co-stars coming to her defense. It was also something Cawthon spoke about with her students. So we're just encouraging our kids to make their own art, to make their own way, and to be change makers, to let their voices be heard, uh, to speak up on what's right and what's wrong. And Cawthon knows Ingram isn't the first and won't be the last black actress to experience racism, but she hopes Ingram's willingness to speak speak up will lead to change. But I think that we owe it to ourselves and also younger generations that are coming up like behind them, like our students, we owe it to them to speak up about these things and try to improve conditions. And that's the only way it's going to change if people really start to speak up about how they feel and what they're going through. And Ingram said she received hundreds of hateful messages, but there were many people who supported her as well. And she said she was thankful for everyone who did. Reporting in studio tonight, Ray Strickland, WMAR 2 News.